I gotta get these batteries, which are the tool buses, out of uh, the new rollback project. So we gotta get those out of there and down to the Isuzu and get it started up. Been a while since we started this. Got Grandpa's old charger on it here. Thank you, Grandpa. Got it charging up. Figure I can winch. I can winch out the uh, Isuzu once it gets stuck, because I know that it's gonna get stuck. how this old girl does. I had it on the charger overnight. But I ain't started it in a while and it's down down in the 30s. So uh we'll see what happens. A lot better cold start this time I had it on the charger it was still turning over a little slow I was kind of worried that it wouldn't fire and then it did those stacks though man sure sound good I'm gonna get this charger shut off so that it's not over amping the batteries transmission uh that not transmission but the output bearing in the transfer of the uh -huh. not transportation seem to place transportation but the parking brake the e-brake assembly so I, i'm pretty sure that's what it is might need the brakes gone through and, and little tinkering and stuff but we put so much money and so much so much into this truck since we bought it Basically, brand new pipeline, all the PTO. We bought it with a broken drive line. We put a lot of work into this truck, getting it ready to go again. And uh, you know, it just just hasn't quite seen, crossed that finish line. And uh, maybe time to pass it on, let somebody else finish it out and get some uh, get some use out of it. 
Because he is a good truck. All right, guys. So I didn't feel like uh, boring you guys with the with with the battery change, but uh, now I'm gonna go over and get a cold start. This is a it's a 91 Azuzu, and it's got a 6BD1T diesel engine, a little four cylinder. Four four BD. My last truck was a six. This one's a four. Yeah. So it's not working it's all up. It's been, shoot, I'd say probably at least three, four months since we uh, started this one up. Uh, it's kind of sick over there. And uh, some genius decided to park on the other side of this mud here. So it's going to be kind of fun getting it over to this side this time of the year. But uh, we'll give it a go. You know, what else do we got here? Found some that I think it might be. If that fails, I got the homemade universals and I got the store bought universals.
That back end is buried. I'll get it out though. <laughs> Alrighty, now to get this thing out, guys. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, winch it. Got the Ford back down here. Um, got the wheel lift buried in the ground. Got the cable over to the truck. Let's see how it does. I've never even really winched with this truck or nothing, so. Uh, let's see. worked out pretty good guys I wish you I would have recorded some of the past times that I've done it, dude. I've, yeah. In my bigger box trucks, the dumper, the, yeah. I've done some, I've done some pretty good four buying out here in big ass trucks, but I just, I never really filmed it that much, so. My bad. So, got that one out. Now I can sell the box. That was basically the purpose of uh, that whole mission was I'm gonna be taking the body off of this. I got it real cheap. I got the whole truck for 1500 bucks. I'm taking the body off of it, selling the box to recoup some of my investment, using the money from the box to find some sort of old school cab and throw on here to do like an, you know, under $1,500 uh, hot rod, rat rod build is what my plan is with this old Isuzu. But got the Ford parked back up here. It did good. Show you guys PTO winch everything works good on that truck man. It's it just it's just a bearing in the uh, E-brake assembly the parking brake assembly on the back of the transmission is uh, What it's looking like is wrong. So Alrighty guys till next time keep building shit hit like and subscribe